Hello everyone and welcome to Muse for You. This is John, your Adobe Muse instructor. And in today's video, we're going to be uh, working with the slideshow scroll effect in Adobe Muse. Uh, the slideshow scroll effect lets you change uh, the, the slide, the slide in a slideshow as you're scrolling the website. So I've created uh, a sample site here and let me just scroll to the top. So as I scroll the site, uh, you can see that the image changes right when the text gets, gets to about the middle of the site. All right, so let me go back to the top. So awesome websites plus no code equals muse for you. All right, pretty cool. Um, we had the slide change uh, every time the website scrolled. All right, so I have my sample site here. Uh, now I'm not gonna recreate the whole thing. Uh, I'm just gonna show you how I did it. Did it because it took a quite a bit of time to to create it or a few minutes. Uh, but yeah, I'll show you how I, I created it. Uh, excuse me, created. Uh, and the first thing I did was create uh, rectangles 600 pixels in height and 100% width. So I, cre I select the rectangle tool and create this rectangle. Let me, yeah, select the rectangle tool and then create a rectangle 600 pixels in height and 100% width and start it at the very beginning of the website. Because what I want to happen is I want uh, the slides to change every 600 pixels so creating this rectangle gives me a reference of when 600 pixels uh, occurs. So I'm just gonna copy, oh, and I'm also gonna take the stroke off this rectangle. So I'm gonna copy and paste this rectangle multiple times. All right. Uh, here we go. And there we go. And actually, I'm going to, uh, let's see. I'm actually gonna add the stroke to the rectangle so I can see when one ends and one begins. There we go, all right, very good. So now what I did is, the, uh, the next step that I did was I added a text uh, box in the middle of the rectangle and added some text and then made the text about 72, centered it, and then I made sure that this text was right in the middle of this rectangle. Then I copied the text, and then, uh, you know, Muse gives me these guidelines, which is awesome. Let's me know when there's an equal distance between the bottom and the top to let me know that the text here is in the center of the rectangle. Copy and paste there. All right, so all right, so that was the first step. Create the rectangles, uh, you know, at the height that you want the the slideshows to change. Uh, then add the text in the middle of the rectangle of that you know specific rectangle. And the next step is to just delete the rectangles. And if you notice, uh, this text is pretty much over the, the original text that, I've, that I had. Uh, some of it's a little bit off. I might have moved some of them here and there. Uh, but since I already have the text here, I'm just gonna delete some text. Uh, that was just to show you how I did it. Okay. And then what I did, actually this was the first step, but uh, I'll show you um, uh, how I added the slideshow. Uh, you just go to Object, Insert Widget, Slideshow, and I picked Full Screen Slideshow. And uh, you'll want to do that first because uh, then your text and your rectangles will be on top of the slideshow. Uh, I then filled my slideshow with images. I picked, I think, seven or eight images. 
and you do that by selecting the slideshow and then there's the blue arrow here the blue circle with the arrow uh, you click that and then you get options um, for your slideshow and here is the add images um, I took out these parts it had the previous next encounter um, I just took those out and the next part is actually going to the uh, scroll effect here so in my in on the right we go to our scroll effects panel and here we have motion opacity slideshow and edge animate we want the third button which is slideshow and we have to select our slideshow first for it to let us uh, work with it so I select the slideshow just by clicking on this background here because it's a full screen slideshow and now I have the option to select and unselect slideshow I want to select it and uh, I'm going to set the key position to zero and I'll show you why in a second um, and then I'll change it back but uh, basically we'll set it to zero and the key position is right here it's at zero and then we can have it autoplay which means that once it hits the key position the uh, the slideshow is going to autoplay and we have it we don't have it set to autoplay so it's not actually going to do anything but if we have had this set to autoplay um, the slide would change every 3.5 seconds oh, excuse me uh, we don't want it to do that. We want to want it to change when we reach a certain scroll position. So again, I click the uh, full screen slideshow, go to slideshow, and I want the slides to switch every 600 pixels. Because remember, we created those rectangles at the height of 600. So we want the slides to switch every 600 pixels. Um, and again, the key position at, is at zero. So this just shows me when the slide... Um, the slideshow is going to start. Okay, so it's going to start once uh, this key position hits the top of the browser. So if I hit Command Shift E and I scroll, you can see it's not working that great. Like this, we have two uh, text here, and it's kind of waiting. Like I'm not really getting the desired effect. So for this one. Like I want the slideshow to change when this here, this plus symbol, uh, reaches the middle of the site. So let's see. No, it changes when it reaches kind of this top here. Um, and the way for us to change this is to actually set the key position uh, before zero. So we can set it to like a negative value. That way in our website, if I um, command shift E, if I preview it, uh, instead of changing when this reaches kind of the top here if I set the key position to negative 200 this is going to be lower it's going to be right at, right around here in the middle and the the slideshow will change more so when this is in the middle when each text is in the middle of the site so if I select the slideshow um, and here where the key position is I set it to negative 200 and now if I check my site that's better. You see that this text here is actually kind of hitting the middle of the site and then the slide changes. So the next one comes, the slide changes right when, when it's in the middle, and again when it's in the middle, when it's in the middle, when it's in the middle, 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 and end. Okay, and just to give you an exaggeration, I'm going to change it to negative 400. And we keep going. So the slide changes kind of closer to the bottom here. Okay. So it's a little more to the bottom. Yeah. Instead of changing in the middle, it changes when the text is closer to the bottom. All right. So that becomes very useful when you want to make sure that your slides change at the at, change at the appropriate time. And again, it can make for a really cool website, kind of having the images change uh, as you scroll. All right, so yeah, and you know, if you had kind of a certain theme, it could really work well for your website. Um, yeah, but uh, that's pretty much it for this uh, video. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.